Yo, what's happening? What's popping? What's up? How you doing? Wow, it is shaky when I move. That's crazy. I cannot hit my desk at all. <laughs> what's up, guys? I'm back. I'm back from vacation. Isn't that crazy? What's up? Um, as I start stream, I'm. I just noticed that what if like the Marvel show went live. We're not gonna talk about it. No talking about it in chat, because I haven't watched it yet. I didn't even know it went live today. So, uh, why is it so shaky? Look at that. What the fuck? What the fuck? I feel like it wasn't like that before. Um, yeah, I'm back. I look much more tan, and I kind of like it. Like, look at this. Like, normally when I go profile, I kind of hate it. But, like, right now, with the tan, with the shaved face, kind of like it. And I'm going to get a haircut tomorrow. So that's gonna be nice. Um, so yeah, I'm back from vacation. I uh, I was gonna do a little bit of a stream, a little a little stream, just a little stream, stream, <laughs> just a little stream, uh, to talk about what I did, what we what we what, like some stories that I went through, cause some shit happened, some some cool stuff happened, some really dumb stuff happened that didn't need to happen. I just got a notification that Valkyrie went live. Oh boy, um, chat's gonna be slow today. <laughs> That's just, I'm prepared. I'm a small streamer, I know. But, um, wow, that autofocus, huh? Wow, that's crazy. That's wild. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't remember how to stream. It's been, it's been like a week. It's been two, how, is it? I think it's been two weeks since I last streamed. I'm pretty sure. Hang on, let me check my VOD archive, because I know it's going to be there. Last stream was a week ago. I wish you could hold on videos. I'm 10k away from cursing. Get ready. Oh boy. Oh no. Um, I, I wish you could hold on videos and like it would just show the description. Like if I just did that, it would this description would show up. Someone shoot that at YouTube. Tell them to do it because that seems like such a good feature. Um, yeah. So I'm back from vacation. Um, so this week's tomorrow I'm not streaming because tomorrow is hectic. I've got senior pictures. Uh, which I didn't know were happening until about four days ago. Whoops. Um, this is a shirt I'm wearing. I kind of like it. I think it's fine. Um, I'm getting a notification. My nice watch gives me notifications so I can look at it in the middle of stream and be unprofessional. Um, so, uh, yeah, we've got um, senior pictures, which I'm doing tomorrow morning. Then I'm getting a haircut because obviously you get the haircut after the pictures like a normal person. Yeah, the person I was like. I was like, you know, we're back from vacation. We came back on Sunday. Uh, today's Wednesday. So I was like, because I'm not in New Zealand. Um, so I was like, man, wouldn't it be like great if I could just get a haircut real quick? And then we go for senior pictures and I look fly as hell. Uh, the guy that I get the haircut from is only in from Thursday to Sunday. And I wasn't going to get Sunday because we got home at like uh, six, seven. They close at six. So, and we got like to the airport at six. So we weren't going to make it home until like, seven or eight um anyway yeah so i'm getting a haircut tomorrow and then jazz already said it but we're going out to dinner with uh scrub me jazz and addict addict doesn't stream so you might not know him he's in chat a decent amount but um jazz royal bucks and scrub stream and we're not going to stream we're just going out for dinner but um yeah it's gonna be fun let's let's talk about this vacation so on the we left we left on the third i'm pretty sure that's what it says on my calendar so i'm just gonna assume that's right we left on the third we planned the trip on the first of august we left two days later like on the first of august i wake up i'm like relaxing i'm like all right whatever it's just a day uh jazz thanks for the host by the way um so yeah we're just i'm just relaxing i don't know i'm just vibing um, by the way, so I shaved today, so you can totally see pimples on my face just kind of popping up. It's it's nice. Um, those are going to show up during the senior pictures. I'm going to go and, like, wash my face after stream just to make sure that tomorrow morning it's not as bad. But, um, you know, we go on, we're, we, on the first, they're like, hey, we're going to St. Martin's, this island in the Caribbean. And I'm like, are you serious right now? Like, two days later, we're leaving. Because you have to get a COVID test before you go. So you have to you have to go to get it. It needs to come back. So they literally they're like in the morning. They're like, okay, Arian, get up or 
sorry, my real name's Ari, and I know that like on online I go by Ari, so like I'll stick with Ari. So they're like, Ari, get up. Like we are going to get our COVID test. I'm like, are you serious? Like I'm I'm trying to chill today, you know? Like it was it was a Sunday. Sundays are not the day when I want to get up and go out, you know what I mean? But um, you know, we went to get it, I think that day or the or was it the second no we went to get it on the first um and then we wake up on the second and we still haven't got the results back so they're worried so they're like all right we're gonna go again we're gonna get the rapid test which sucks it's so bad but like you get it within like 30 minutes 10 10 10, 10, like 30 minutes of actually going in there 10 minutes of taking the test so you know, we go back to the same place where, and like one of the doctors there is like, you know, wait, just wait. Hopefully it'll come through. I'm going to talk to the lab, see if it comes through. Uh, and if it doesn't, then you can take the rapid test. Um, she was just trying to save us like $200 or whatever, which was really nice. But um, we, <laughs> we don't get the test results in time. She leaves at 7 p.m. So she, we were like, and the place closes at 8. So we were like, all right, you know, she left at 7. Let's just go and get it. Um... We get the rapid test, which sucks. It goes, like, more up the nose than the other one. The other one was fine. It, like, it burned a little, but it was fine. Rapid test sucked. Like, I hated it. As we're waiting to get the test results, guess what? We get an email, and it's the first test results. Like, we could have waited, and we would have gotten it. But, um, yeah, so we took two COVID tests for no reason. Both came back negative. Do you lose a few brain cells? Uh, Probably. It hurt. I hated it. It was so bad. But, um, you know, whatever. You know, we got the test. We're done. We're negative, um, which is a good thing. That always confuses me. But being negative for a disease test is a good thing. So, cool. We can go, you know? So, we pack our bags. Uh, my packing, like, I don't normally pack my own bags, but my mom, like, just stood there and watched, and I was like, you know you can go, and I'll do it myself, right? And she was like, no, I don't trust you. So I was like, okay. We, I packed my bags. It takes literally, like, five to ten minutes. Like, it takes, like, I was so surprised. I was like, I must be forgetting something. Lo and behold, I was forgetting things. So, like, I, we got there, and I just, I was missing some stuff. Um, but, you know, I fit everything in there that I needed. It wasn't that big of a deal, the stuff that I did miss. Um... And we go. Take off on the third, third morning, uh, like 6 a.m., maybe earlier. It was very early. It was like 4 a.m. My parent, my mom and sister didn't even sleep. Fra- ooh, fragility. <laughs> sorry. Fragilities. Fra- fra- fragilities? Uh, thanks for the follow. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, which I probably did. Um, watch out for that account. Why? Why is that? Oh, boy. Oh, huh. What? Should I be worried? Should I like, should I be worried? That's, that's scary. That's very scary. That's, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna real quick. They've been following everyone hopes that they open the page. Oh, okay. Okay, I can, I can just... I can just, how do you fucking, I'm sorry, give me a second, I'm just gonna try to, if you open their Twitch page, they get your, dude, that's insane, that's terrifying, Lightus. I think I got that, um, banned, okay, uh, I think I spelled that right, F-R-A-G-I- Oh man, I hate that. I L like my brain is not I L I T Y. Dude, okay. I literally I was doing Microsoft Rewards stuff yesterday, you know, or the day before, like when I got back from vacation. I read the word schoolwork, like the word schoolwork as spontaneous. That's a real thing that I did. Like, I don't know how I manage that. I've always been worried of like do I have like you know, dyslexia, or am I just like, I don't know. Sometimes I just don't read words right. I don't know how I did that. I, f- I literally read spontaneous, and I don't know where that came from. Because I looked at it again later, because, like, from I was just, like, looking again. I was like, wait, I don't see a spontaneous on here. It was schoolwork, and I was like, how did I do that? So, yeah, try to read this bot's name, because there's, like, an I-L-I. 
So I can't tell if there's two L's because of stupid spacing things. I figured it out. It's fine. Where were we? Okay. Yeah, so 4, 4 a.m., um, my we're, we're, we have to like wake up to leave. My sister and mom didn't sleep at all. They literally just went through the whole night. My dad took a nap. I took like a two and a half hour nap, and then I woke up. Um, and we uh, blast off in the airplane. I had My sister and I have been talking about Manifest a lot, the TV show. And uh, guess what? In the show, a plane um, has a bunch of turbulence, and then they're and then they're fine. Then when they land, they find out that they've been gone for five years. So I was kind of terrified of that flight. Uh, yeah, what's up, Strook? I'm telling the story of my vacation. So I was kind of terrified of flying there because I was like, you know, what if I just get lost for five years? What if we crash? That's even more possible. What if we just crash? Apparently, airplanes are like the safest. Wow, safest form of travel. So like. I don't know why I was so scared, and I've done it a bunch. Like, it's not the first time I've flown. I've, I fly often. Um, not recently, because of COVID. Um, speaking of which, you know, we were vaccinated. We took COVID tests before flying there and flying back. We wore masks indoors and in crowds as much as possible. If you guys are going to go on vacation, you should do the same. All that good stuff. Um, so, yeah, we were careful. It wasn't just, uh, hey, it, we're stupid t- Twitch streamers going to party. <laughs> um... But, um, yeah, anyway, I was terrified of the flight, but we got there. We were fine. I was wearing some nice clothes because I always do on flights because I want to show off a little bit, you know? You ever just, like, it's just, like, nice when you're, like, on an airplane and you, like, look nice and you're, like, what's up? It's me. How you doing? You know? That sexual tension in the airport when you see someone who's, like, around your age and you're, like, I don't even care, like, Airport, because you know, airports are like you know, you're never coming back there. Like, you're you don't stay there long. You just kind of like, you know, <laughs> it's just a normal thing. Maybe I don't know. Um. Anyway, we landed. <laughs> we landed safe and sound. Not five years later. Um, and uh, what 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 did we do? We, it was very hot. And I was wearing jeans because it's cold on airplanes, so I have to wear jeans. Um, and I had a jacket on, but I, I like I brought the jacket with the knowledge that I'd wrap it around my waist when we landed because I knew how hot it'd be. So um, yeah, we we land. Uh, again, it's this island in the Caribbean called Saint Martin's. It's very nice. Um, they got torn up by a hurricane in like a Hurricane Irma in like twenty seventeen. And they're still recovering. Apparently, it was, like, above a, a Class 5 hurricane. Like, they don't even have a category for it. And also, um, it, it only lasted, like, six hours, apparently. Like, the fact that it did that much damage in six hours is insane. But, um, yeah, we, we like, the, the driver, the shuttle driver who took us from the airport to our hotel or resort, whatever, um, told us all about that. He was very nice. He was a really nice guy. I didn't catch his name. Because uh, I never talk. Like, in, when we're in, like, Ubers and stuff, I let my parents talk, and I sit there and vibe. So, um, I didn't catch his name, but he was a very nice guy, very nice shuttle driver. Um, he took us to the... He took us to the resort and back when we left. So, um, cool. We're... It's, uh, it's the third. It's, at, like, the afternoon. We have made it to the resort. We have the, um, you know, we have all our stuff, all our luggage, no problems with that. Uh, and we, we have to wait in the hotel lobby for like a good 10, 20 minutes, which was so tiring. I was like, dude, I, first of all, I need to piss so bad. Second of all, I want to lie down in my comfy hotel bed. Like, please. <laughs> like, they were taking so long. And it's like, you know, it's their job. They're being careful. They're doing it right. But I was like, please hurry. <laughs> I want to be home or like at my home. That's going to be my home for the next week. We make it to the hotel room, finally, like, it's been, so, it's like a four-hour flight, you know, we had to, we had to take the, sorry, I forgot to mention this, okay, on the way to the airport, you know, when we were leaving New Jersey, my, we, we, we were having so much trouble finding a Lyft or Uber, so my sister and mom went in an Uber together, because they, we, we just got two small cars, they went, my dad and I go together, the person we got First of all, she talked, like, so much. And it's like, you know, there's talkative Uber drivers. That's just a thing. 
I was just, I was so tired. It was like 6 a.m., 4 a.m., whatever it was in the morning. I was like, why are you, why, why, why do you have this much energy to talk to people this early in the morning? Second of all, she drove like a lunatic, dude. Like, she was like, she was going so fast. My dad had to like di- direct her. Like, you have to, you like are not in a lane. Like, you're not in a lane. Um, and I was, I was, <laughs> yeah, Monk is here. I was like, I was like, dude, you want to like just relax? Like, you want to relax a little bit? Didn't relax. That's just how it is. She did not chill out. We made it to the airport safe and sound, which is why I'm here right now. Uh, not. You know, that's why I forgot that that even happened is because I survived, <laughs> but it was scary. Uh, I told my sister about it. I texted her. I was like, dude, this person's a monster. Like, <laughs> and she was like, nice. She drank that coffee or something. I'm pretty sure. I mean, she must have if she was driving at like 5, 6 a.m. in the morning. Um, But, you know, and she was talking a bunch and it was like she had an accent. So it was like a little hard to understand her. So my dad sometimes just wouldn't respond to her. I made the whole atmosphere so awkward. <laughs> and I was just on my phone, like, I headphones in, don't need to hear this. Block out the noise. Um, Sorry, I need to adjust Ugh, my legs. Dude, I did legs day, leg day today. My legs are not vibing with me. I'm so tired. Um, Yeah, so, speaking of, yeah, I started working out, like, a week before vacation. Then we went on vacation. I was like, are you serious? I was, like, trying to get into a grind, and we just go on vacation right now. Um, but I'm getting back into it. I didn't quit. Uh, I'll tell you about that at the end of the story. Um, so, uh, yeah, we make it to the hotel room without dying to the Uber or to a manifest like airplane dive, whatever. Uh, and what's next? Uh, I think we just relaxed that day. I think, yeah, we, we, we just relaxed that entire day. Um, cause like, who's going to go out? We did walk a little bit to this really nice place. I think it was called like Bombay Bites. And um, my parents are from Bombay or Mumbai, I guess. I don't know. I think Bombay is the old name. I think it's called Mumbai now. I'm pretty sure. It's a place in India, very crowded, very populated area. Um, not great for COVID right now. I have a lot of family there, so we've been a little worried. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not great, but they're okay for now. Um, so yeah, we... Uh, found this really nice place called Bombay Bites, a nice restaurant, like five minute walk from our resort. Dude, the food there is so good. There's like this, there was this like, so, I love Chinese food. There was this Chinese food. It was like, um, rice, noodles, and whatever else you wanted. It was like three things and you could just pick the third thing. I always pick Manchurian because Manchurian is my love. And it was like supreme. Like you can't get that here. I've never gotten that kind of food here. I've gotten, like, different types of fried rice and stuff, but not that kind. And I was just like, this is amazing. We went there twice during the whole trip. I wish we went there more um, because, man, it was god tier. But uh, that's kind of all we did on the uh, third. Was it third? So that's going to be Tuesday. Yeah, so Tuesdays when we flew in, we just ate some food and relaxed. Wednesday is when everything started to happen. So Wednesday, we... um, wake up kind of early, wake up in the morning, and we, uh, there's this mountain on St. Martin's, and I don't know what it's called, I don't know any of that, but we went up it, (laughs) we got this pass, which let you, um, do a bunch of stuff, so it was like, okay, you go up the, what's it called, like, the monorail, what's the thing, the the chairlift, that kind of thing, we go up the chairlift for, like, a good five minutes, and you reach the first section that you can get off, which is mountain tubing. So you can just, it, like, it's this um, slide, basically, down the mountain. It's a very small slide. Like, we're not that high up. It's a five-minute ride up the chairlift. Um, and they spray mist on the slide. They spray stuff. Uh, Hi, Ari. Will you eat your words like you did in Fall Guys? What does that mean? What did I eat my words? I got in Fallable. I did get it eventually, so I'm a, I'm a god at Fall Guys now. Um, after I got in, I don't know if you guys, I don't even think I've talked about this on stream yet, but I got in Fallable, the achievement where you get five wins in a row in Fall Guys, it was crazy, and, um, after that, I would just win every day, like, I still gotta play today to get my daily challenges done, I might win today too, I've been winning every day, it's crazy, it's such an easy game now, because I'm, I don't have any, like, I have every achievement in the game, when it comes to Xbox, I'll probably get every achievement in there too, cause I'm a loser like that, (laughs) um, 
But yeah, so mountain tubing, they spray mist on the slide to make it extra slippery. They put stuff on the bottom of the tube to make it slippery. We go down it twice. So we, we all go down, go back up, go down again. Both times that I go down the mountain tube, I lose my shoe. Both times. And apparently my when you said who will be killed by big fruit, then you die to it. Oh, well, that just happens constantly. If this was fruit shoe, it always happens. If it was... um. I can't. Oh, it was rollout, wasn't it? Yeah. No. I'm. Look. No, we don't need to talk about it. All right. We don't need to talk about it. Um. <laughs> anyway. So um. We. Um. I lose my shoe shoes both times, and I have to ask like the attendant. Like the first time, I just asked the attendant. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I lost my shoe. Like, can you go get it? We go up again. I'm like, I don't really want to go mountain tubing because like I don't want to lose my shoe again. I just. It's just. I'd rather not. It wasn't worth it to lose my shoe and have to ask the attendant again they're like no no it'll be fine just tighten it a little more i was like all right we go down the mountain tube i'll lose my shoe again because it's like the mount like the tube goes where it wants it'll spin how it wants so it spun me around i i was sideways my leg kicked the side my shoe went whoop and i had to ask the attendant again and i was like hey um and he just gives me a look. He's like, he just shakes his head at me. And I'm like, please, <laughs> can you just get my shoe like one more time? We could only go twice anyway. So it was like, he doesn't have to deal with me after this. Uh, and I lost it like very late in the ride, like literally like 10 seconds before I got to the end. So I was just like, it's right there. Like, I'm so sorry. Can you please get it for me? Uh, and he grabs it. My dad just tips him as like a thanks. I know my di- my my son's a dick. I was like, all right, well, look, I didn't want to go twice, but whatever. Uh, And then we're done with the mountain tubing. But that's not the whole adventure. That's about 30 minutes of the adventure. Now we go up to the actual mountain stuff, like the the, the cool stuff, the stuff you want to see. So um, it's if it's like a 10 minute ride to go up to the or five minute ride to go up to the mountain tubing. It's like a 20, 30 minute ride to get to to the second level. It's like so bad. Like I was, I also am really bad about wearing sunscreen. Like I have marks on my arm because I don't wear sunscreen. I don't burn. Like I've, I don't really burn. You know, I was in the sun for a long, long time. I got like a little bit tender on the ears and the insides of my uh, elbows got like a little bit, you know, red um but like it's barely anything it's like a little like little white flakes you know as you would if you got like super sunburned but like it didn't hurt or anything so you know i didn't wear sunscreen still though the sun was like right on us for like 20 minutes and we're in a chairlift so there's not gonna be any uh, you know top there's not there's no top to the chair and there's no like foliage that's gonna cover us so I was like, oh my god, how long is this going to go? There are some good pictures from it. I'm, You know what? I'm going to find a picture that I really liked and show it to you guys. But first, I got to cover my family's faces. But um, my dad kept going, hey, let's take another picture. Let's take another picture. And my my sister and mom and I were getting like so tired of it. Like, why why do you need this many pictures? Please. Like, come on now. But, um, you know, it was it was nice. Um, I found this really good picture that I, I, that my dad, or my sister got. Um, look at me. Look at that. Look at me with a mask on, dude. Me with the mask on looks, like, I look fly as hell. Hang on. You can see yourself reflected in my phone, I'm sorry. Ooh, look at that, there we go. This camera has very good, uh, focus. But yeah, it was very nice, it was super fun. Um, and I had like, a, you know, I had fun on the chairlift, even though it was burning hot and we had nothing to do because I'm too scared to use my phone. Like I'm not using my phone on a chairlift. That's insane. Um, I'm not like, I'm an idiot, but I'm not a complete idiot. <laughs> so didn't bother with that. But, um, yeah, we, so we get to the top and it's not the complete top. It's, uh, it's like you go up there. So, you know, you have the mountain tubing, which is like, let's say like a fifth of the way up. You have the top of that chairlift, which is like, I'd say like nine tenths of the way up. It's like mostly there. And from there, we can go in the first zipline expedition. So this zipline expedition 
is specifically like it goes through the foliage and takes you back to where you started. There's a second zip line which we'll just talk about. I'll talk about later. <laughs> Rewind. There's a second zip line which I'll talk about later. But this expedition, you go through the trees, you ch- you check out stuff. There's this like airport because there's only one airport and it's like a small island. So like you can just see the entire airport and it's it's super nice, very nice view. I probably have a couple pictures I can post some on Twitter if I remember or care. But <laughs> but um yeah, we you know. We go through the zipline. There's this nice group with us. Um, there's like three kids in front of us. I say kids. They're older than me. They're probably like 20, 21. Um, so three of them in front of us. There were like a couple behind us who I think they came before us. So they left in the middle of the tour because it's it's like a circular tour, right? Like you go this area and then you go around. So like they stop like because you go back. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like. It's like a, it's like a loop. It's like a double loop. It's like an eight, an infinity loop. So you start here, you go around this way, st- come back to the middle, and then go around the other way, and that's how you do it. So they did one loop before we showed up. Then they come with us, do the other loop. We do our first loop, and then they leave. So basically, I don't know why I had to do that whole explanation. It didn't matter. There's seven of us together vibing. Um, the people with us are really funny. Like they're just kind of chilling. They're having fun. Also. The guides, like the people who, you know, do the zip lines for you, there's only two of them. So they also need a zip line with us to take us places. So one guy, like, he flips upside down, like, hangs his legs on the zip line. So his arms are, like, down, like, Spider-Man Leap of Fate style. And I was like, dude, this guy is having so much fun right now. Like, everyone who works on that mountain was having the time of their life it was so it was such a beautiful sight to see people enjoying their lives you don't see that in america a lot (laughs) so yeah um we do the zipline expedition and uh you know my sister mom and i we're pretty smart i'd like to say you know we don't use our phones in the middle of the zipline my dad on the other hand (laughs) he um he decides you know it'd be nice if we got like a nice view of the of the of the view a view of the view using our phone in the middle of the zipline. And, um, well, if you haven't been on a zipline before, there's a very intense stop at the end of it. Like, you go, you're vibing, and then right at the end, your zipline catches on a thing so that you don't go flying into a wall. And, uh, yeah, his phone went flying during that portion. Like, he, we stop. I, I'm going with him because we have two side by side. I go, he goes, I stop, I see him stop, and his phone just goes flying into the foliage. Thank God the guide got it. Like, he, he found it. But we have video of the phone getting lost in the foliage. Like, I'm sure... Like, because he was taking a video while it was happening. So I'm pretty sure I could totally find it. Of, like, the the phone just going flying. Hang on. I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can find it. Because it's, it's so funny. Um, But yeah, I mean, that happened. That was fun. Then... That's all we can do on that level. We go up the last level. It's a very steep one, by the way. It's like it that last chairlift to get to the very, very top was so steep. Like it kind of scared me. But um, you know, we go up the last chairlift and it takes us to what we all were waiting for. I'm not gonna look for this picture for this video right now, but it gets us to what we were all waiting for. The real reason we came to this mountain. There is a 45 second zip line that takes you from the top of the mountain all the way to the bottom. Like, 45 seconds. A point, uh, uh, so apparently, it was like a thousand feet or yards. I don't remember. A thousand or meters. A thousand something down. Two thousand across. Huge. Crazy. The, it's insane. So, we go up to that portion. There's some nice videos you can take there and stuff. I actually took one... Uh, Again, I don't know if it's worth trying to show you because you won't even be able to hear it. And also, I look ugly, so we're not going to show you. <laughs> but I sent some nice videos to my friends where I was just like, you know, I took, a, I, I, I took a video myself and I was like just sipping on some fruit punch that they had up there. They had a bar up there and the barista was really nice and funny. And, uh, you know, I took a nice video of myself and I was like, yo, guys, I miss you a lot. But, uh, and then I'll turn around and show them the giant view of, like, the entire island, basically. And I was just like, I don't miss you guys that much. Like, look at this. And, man, 
the view. I couldn't like it was it was amazing. Like cuz you 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 can go on a mountain in America and you'll see land. But you, you've never lived until you go up an island mountain and you see land and also ocean and like it's like a mini earth, you know? It's like a mini earth. You can you feel like you can see the entire earth around you. I don't know how to explain it. It's amazing. I I loved it. I had a lot of fun. Um but yeah, so, you know, we're up there, we're chilling, we put our name on the list, and we're like, alright, we're gonna, you know, we'll go whenever we show up, until we have to go, we all are just sipping drinks, they have alcoholic beverages up there, I can drink when I'm 18 in that area, um, but I'm 17, uh, which was fucking annoying, by the way, like, we couldn't have waited six months, we couldn't have gone during Christmas time, when I could have drank, you know what I mean? It's fine. I'm not that angry. Whatever. Ugh. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so we, we, we had some nice drinks. We chilled. We had fun. Um, the fruit punch was really, really good. And then it's our turn to go. And, uh, you know, we're waiting in line. You know, we don't have to wait in line, but we're waiting in that area to be like, you know, kind of check out the sites, hang out with everyone else who's about to go down the big zip line. And one of the guys who works there is so entertaining. Again, I didn't catch his name. I didn't ask because we talked for about two minutes before he sent me spiraling down a giant mountain. But um, yeah, it was, dude, he was having the time of his life. We had, they had music up, you know, in that area. It was like a party spot, you know, it was chill. All the tourists were enjoying and he was like, he was drumming on the side, he was chilling, he was dancing, he was joking with the people that he was strapping up to the zipline, he was having a lot of fun, I, I love that guy so much, and um, I, I just said to him when I went, because I, I specifically walked up to his line when I had to go up the zipline, because I wanted him to be the one to strap me up, so when I was getting strapped up, I was just like, dude, you seem like you're having a lot of fun. And he's like, yeah, have you seen my office? It's it, this entire mountain. This is my office. And I was like, that's fair. And he's like, you know, I've been up this thing, like up and down this thing like 7,000 times. So as long as I'm here, you know I'm alive. That's what the other zipliner also said. He's like, I've been up and down this thing like 1,900 times or something. So as long as I'm here, you shouldn't be worried. If I'm not here anymore, be worried. So um, again... They all love their jobs. They love being there. It's a beautiful sight to see. I like people enjoying their lives. That's awesome. But um, yeah, he sends me and my sister down first. Um, the dude, the wind, like, cause I spun around as soon as it started. So I was going like this way. The wind destroyed my ears. Like it just went right in there, and I was like, oh, holy shit! And then when you stop at the end, you're body because you just stop so your body just goes up like it just there's sand there's not sand there's like bags up there because you just go up and your body hits the bags and you're like oh my god <laughs> it's crazy you just get whacked um so you know my sister and i stop um we get off we we chill out and uh our parents come down and when you see people coming down the zipline that's even crazier because Obviously, the zipline's attached to a line. You know, there's a thing on the line. So when it goes down, there's, like, a bunch of springs to slow it down without just stopping it. Because if it stops, you fucking die. <laughs> so, like... Sorry, that laugh sounded fake, but I'm just awkward. That's all it is. So, um, when you, like, stop, there's all these springs. And when I saw it, it makes such a noise. When I saw my parents go down, it scared the shit out of me because I was like, oh my god, what was that tearing noise? And it was just the springs kind of unload or like loading the energy of the thing onto themselves. But yeah, that was incredible. It was a rush. You don't even get scared. You would think like anyone would be scared of that. The first two seconds, just like the guides told us, the first two seconds you're scared because... Uh, the gates, because it's like, you have the zip line, and then they have gates there that they have to open, and that's when you get sent down. You can't get sent down until they manually open it. So you're just sitting there waiting, strapped up, then they open it, and you see the view, and you're like, holy shit, this is huge. And then you go, and then, it, like, the zip line takes off. It doesn't just slowly go. It, like, 
fucking bolts. So you you get those two seconds of holy shit, this is a big drop. Oh my god, I'm going. And then you kind of enjoy the view and you just chill and it feels slow. And my sister was going way ahead of me because I'm just like I'm I'm known to be an incredibly skinny, like probably underweight person. So I, I guess my weight just wasn't enough to, you know, keep me going at a good pace. So I, I was like slowing down. And she was like, dude, did something happen? Like, do you get stopped in the middle? Because I look I, like I look to my left and you're like five to like 10 meters behind me. And I was just like, no, I'm just light. But uh, yeah, we take off zoom, take a video of our parents coming down and we're done. That's that's that day. It was awesome. That mountain was amazing. Everybody there was amazing. Like the barista there was funny. The, the, the tourists were having fun. It was a blast. I feel like I haven't had that much fun in a long time because of Corona. And, you know, obviously you should still be careful. I tried to wear masks basically everywhere. Sometimes it's so hot that I kind of have to take it off. Yo, what's up, Peter? How you doing? I'm telling the story of how I was on vacation. Uh, I just got back on Sunday, so I'm just telling that story. We're on day two. Um, but yeah, so obviously wear your mask, do all that stuff, stay safe. It was so hot that sometimes I had to take it off, but it was like when I was away from people. But, um, yeah, mostly we were like safe. We tested negative when we came back. So obviously that's the only reason I'm back here or else I'd be stuck there. Um, so you know that it worked, you know, masks work. Who would have thought? Um, so yeah, that's kind of that day, you know, then we get back to the car, we eat, like, a lot of stuff. Like, we just, we, because we weren't allowed to take food inside. So we eat some sandwiches that my mom made with this really good chutney. Like, it was so spicy. Like, I loved it. I, I don't normally eat very spicy stuff, but this chutney was, like, so good. So we had, like, sandwiches with tomatoes and cucumbers and chutney and stuff like that. Very nice. We had some honey roasted peanuts, which, wow, like, they're so good. I don't know if they're peanuts, just nuts, something like that. And, um... We had barbecue chips, which were nice. We had soda, we had water, everything. We were just vibing in the car, having like a feast in the parking lot of this mountain place, you know, just chilling. Go home. I play some Fall Guys, like straight up. I just, I'm like, all right, today's been a hectic day. I'm gonna play some Fall Guys. And the hotel Wi-Fi sucked, but it handled Fall Guys really well, which was so nice because I literally played Fall Guys almost every day when I was there. Because after such a hectic day, you need some rest. So instead of sleeping, I would just play Fall Guys. And I was like, this is cool. This is my day. It was perfect. Um, so yeah, that's Wednesday. That's basically it. Played some Fall Guys. We uh, grabbed some food. I don't remember what we had. But it wasn't, like, it probably wasn't important. Um, and that was kind of it, you know? Um, we might have, oh, mm, we... <laughs> We went to Bombay Bites a second time at some point during this trip, and I was walking back, and I kind of walked ahead of everybody because they were, like, talking about something that I was bored with, and I looked to my left, and there was a strip club right there, a three-minute walk from my <laughs> from my resort, uh, and I just see, like, I think it said, like, adult entertainment or something, and I'm, I just send my friends a snap, like, guys, there's a strip club, like, I've never seen a strip club in the wild. Like, I live in, like, the suburbs. There's, like, no strip strip clubs here. And so I just send them, like, guys, there's just a strip club, like, right next to my house. And they're, like, dude, you should go. And then and then they specify not to, da like, not to watch the dancers, like, to go get your, your cash. And I was, like, <laughs> and I was, like, really? And then I look to my right, <laughs> and there's a police station there. They set up a, a strip club across the street from a police station. And there's nothing wrong with the strip club, you know? It's all legal. It's all above board. But illegal stuff happens there. Like, people come in and they'll do drugs in the bathrooms and stuff. You know, like, I'm not... <laughs> don't get me wrong. I respect sex workers and all that. But the people who go to sex workers... Don't always respect them, because sometimes, you know, the stereotype, I guess. <laughs> Dancing on poles is okay. Yeah. I mean, you've seen Mark and Ethan do it in their dead channel, so it's okay. Markiplier and Ethan. Um, anyway. <laughs> Crank. Sorry, that's his, that's his YouTube name, Crank Gameplays. Anyway. Um, 
Should I turn up the music? I'm going to turn up the music a little bit. A little bitty. Because I feel like you guys can barely hear it. Um, anyway, yeah. So, strip club. Fun. Next day. What do we do the next day? Do we even do anything? Oh, yes. Oh, my God. The next day was such a blast. Okay. So, here's what we do. Right? We wake up. We're like, all right, we're going to relax a bit. We have a, we, uh, I think that's, is that Thursday? That's Thursday. Which, yeah, that checks out with my timeline. Okay. I'm making sure because I don't remember, I didn't write anything down. I'm just memorizing all this. So, um, excuse me. Sorry, I need water. Give me a sec. No one's hydrating me, damn it. So, um, Thursday morning, we wake up. All right. Uh, grab some cereal, whatever. The whole shebang. Uh, make some sandwiches and stuff for the r ride or whatever. The sandwiches my mom made were so good. Um, by the way, this resort, it wasn't all-inclusive. So it was like we had our own kitchen and stuff. We kind of made our own food. We brought Maggie noodles, which was amazing. They're like, it's basically ramen noodles, but Indian. I love it. Like, oh, no, wow. Wow. That just lagged hard. Um, <laughs> I loved it because I love Maggie noodles. So I was like just chilling. Um, so yeah, we... Um, make some food we set off we find this restaurant called best of that's all it's called is best of from my knowledge and their food was so good they had a burger which was basically a falafel like the pot the patty was falafel balls they had like lettuce tomato on top that's basically it but and like some hummus on top it was basically a falafel but in a hamburger fo form and i loved it i had that then we got a pizza from there and my parents got actual falafel and we got french fries it was like Oh, the pizza was so good. It was, like, thin crusted. None of the food there is, like, it, none of the food there is, like, fat, you know? It's not, like, American food where they they make it, like, super fat, super cheesy, super big, like, stuffing, you know? It was just, like, even we went to Burger King there, too. They didn't give that many fries. It's just how it is. That's how it works in most other places. They chill out with the food because you don't need that much fat. So, um, probably a little more healthy. But yeah, the pizza was thin crust. It was so good. Um, I, dude, I was stuffed. I felt, I felt amazing. I felt like, I felt like a god. <laughs> I felt so good. Um, then we walk over. We find a yogurt thingy. I was gonna do a big dramatic reveal, and then I forgot the words I was trying to say. What's the place is called? Like Cups? You know Cups? That place that closed down everywhere around this area? Froyo. Froyo. That's what it's called. <laughs> a yogurt thingy. I was kind of right. Frozen yogurt. We found that. I don't remember the name of the shop, but we went in there. We got some good food, my sister and I. We got some, uh, we got some, I got, um, chocolate and lemon, or it's called citrus. So like chocolate and citrus ice cream and some strawberries on top. It was really good. I could have gotten more. I could have gotten M&Ms and stuff, but I didn't see them in time. And then I'm so, so like, I'm such an awkward person. Then instead of going, hey, wait, wait a second. Can I actually get those M&Ms too? Uh, I just it was shut up and just took it with the strawberries. But, um, yeah, man, I, I don't get, like, around my area, all the cups and frozen yogurts places just closed down a couple years ago. Like, just gone. Replaced with Chipotle's and shit. So I haven't had Froyo that much. I have a friend, a, like, 45-minute drive away, and she lives near a Froyo place that's really good, but, like, I'm not going to go 45 minutes just to get Froyo, and even half the time we go there, we don't get it, so there's one more Froyo place. DM me the address, please. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated. I need it so bad, but, um, you know, now, you know, I said that this day was awesome. I haven't even gotten to the best part. You know, we got some good food. And that was great. And I appreciate all the workers there who made that food and stuff. Because a lot of these places are family owned. Like, there's not many brand places here. It's mostly, like, you know, family businesses and stuff. So all those people just working hard, getting through their day, making some good shit for good people. Uh, and it was awesome. But that's after that, we drive to Maho Beach. Now, this is an island. There's 37 beaches or something like that. It's crazy. There's a lot. Maho Beach is iconic for tourists because it is right next to the airport where planes land. And when I say right next to, I mean you have the airport. Okay, let's, okay. 
You have the airport runway here. Let's say this is the back. You've got a lane. You've got a fence. Then right behind the fence, like literally right behind it, there's a lane to a, a road lane, another road lane to go the other way because they go opposite directions. And right next to that is a beach. That is literally it. Like you are right next to the airport. And that's why it's such a huge tourist attraction is because everyone wants to be blasted by airport, like airplane boost turbo thingies, turbo. <laughs> everyone wants to be blasted by that. So we stay there for a couple hours. I cannot tell you how much I, I enjoyed it because first of all, the water's super warm. You know, it's very nice, n very nice day. The weather's amazing. The water's super dense. I guess I don't know if that's the right word, but you can float on it without trying. Like you can just float on any water around there, and you don't even have to do anything. For number four, um, there was a bunch of seashells around there. It's illegal to take shells out of the island because uh, they don't have many shells and the shells are good for the environment. So, you know, they don't want tourists just taking all the shells because they have so few anyway. Um, but my sister and I were still having fun just digging through, looking at the shells, dropping them again. That's kind of what we did. And number five, the water wasn't that salty. Like it was salty because it's salt water and seawater, but it wasn't that salty. So we were like just chilling, relaxing. Um... My dad and mom really, my dad wants to be a pilot and stuff. So he was taking videos of the planes coming in, leaving all that, all that good stuff. And my sister didn't want to get wet, wet, right, thumb, wet right away. So she was kind of sitting with her feet in the water, uh, but like not fully in. I just dove out there. I just went out there and I just chilled. And what's even nicer is like, you can walk on the sand like the entire way. Like it's shallow for like a very long part of the beach i guess is that called like a sandbar i don't know but like for a long part of the ocean like you can just stand there and i'm kind of tall so i could stand there for a long time so i just went super far out relaxed floated sometimes uh planes would come in and you know we, w we would like wave and stuff there's like a group of like teenagers or i guess they're like also in their like 20s early 20s they were kind of chilling next to me so I was just listening to their conversations, kind of listening to the gossip with, without knowing any of the people in it. Um, it. It was honestly one of the best days, even with mountain climbing or not mountain climbing, but like mountain zip lining and horseback riding, which I'm going to talk about and speed boating, which I'm going to talk about. That day was just supreme um because i just i literally just relaxed by myself then we met this really nice couple i got the guy's name his name was mark i think because the girlfriend or wife or whatever shouted his name at some point to get his attention i didn't get her name because like we weren't like super close or anything but they were near us for a bit so we kind of talked and stuff and they were super nice um uh and then after we met them there's this big airplane that was scheduled to take off. So my dad goes up and he's like, all right, cool. This is going to be sick. I don't care. I'm staying in the sand or in the water. Um, and then as it starts to take off, guess what? Who would have guessed it? All the sand from the beach starts coming flying at me in little pellets, like punching the shit out of me. And I don't have a shirt on. I don't like wearing a swim shirt. Oh, I'm here. Uh, but not as I'm in class. <laughs> What's up, Bishop? All the little sand... It's just pelting me, and I don't wear swim shirts. I don't like them anymore, so I just have the swim trunks. And I'm j like, I just turn around, and my back is getting just absolutely massacred by the sand. Like it's destroying me, and it's it's so much. And I just kind of dive in the water, and I'm like, okay, okay, I can breathe for like a little bit, like I or not breathe, but I can hold my breath for like a decent amount of time. So I'll be fine. And it takes off, and we're good. And then like. Probably 30 minutes later, another one comes, and it's an even bigger one, and my dad has, like, the phone app or whatever, the website up, which tells you the planes are scheduled to come, and he's and he's talking to Mark about this stuff because they're, like, old men or whatever. Sorry, Mark, if you're watching this. <laughs> you guys are old. And uh, I'm not even going to apologize to my dad. He doesn't watch this stuff. <laughs> but, yeah, we literally just, like, you've just got, like, this even fatter plane that's going to take off. You've got, and what's, what's, what was great is with this fatter plane, even more people were lined up, you know, like on the 
top of the sand and they're like ready they're like oh this is gonna be crazy like tour it let's take some photos of this plane that's gonna take off none of them were ready you know because obviously they weren't gonna be like they didn't know how bad it was when planes took off so like the the woman and my mom and sister and i were sitting there in a circle and we were like all right let's take bets how many of these people are gonna go down the down the beach <laughs> like how many people are gonna fall down because the wind just pushes them backwards um and lo and behold when the plane took off sand did fly at us we were kind of to the right of it this time so like last time we were like head on right behind it so the sand really bolted us this time we were to the right so i didn't get too hit so i just watched as like dominoes they all just like slowly like the whole line of people like starting from the left side all just started going down other than my dad he actually survived on the top of the beach without falling down but uh everybody else just fell down i was just like this is crazy this is wild um and no one was gonna get hurt it was like there was rocks but like if you weren't an idiot you'd be fine and most people like weren't even near the rocks so we were just kind of messing around, like, who's going to fall down? Who do you think? And, like, we saw a woman with her hat, and the woman that was, like, next to us was, like, her hat's going flying. And we were, like, yeah, no, it's gone. It was awesome, man. Like, I, I what a great experience. I love Maho Beach. If you ever go to St. Martin's, that's definitely a place you should visit. Um, We did talk to someone later, a uh, local, who said we should have gone to this other beach. I don't remember the name. I would just suggest you do some research before you go. We did not do research because we left in two days of planning and going. <laughs> like literally on Tuesday, on Wednesday after the mountain climbing, my sister just like that entire night was just researching like what do we want to do next? What do we need to sign up for? But yeah, after Maho Beach, we kind of relaxed. Uh, I think my I think that was the day. Yeah, that was the day. My sister, mom, and dad went to the rum factory that was near us. Uh, I didn't want to go because I couldn't drink there. I had to wait another year, uh, six months. So I was like, I'm not doing that. So they go there. I went to the pool at a resort. It was a very small pool and not many people my age. I was hoping that like there would be some teenagers that I could just chill out with. Uh, but sadly, it was just a dad, his son, and two very little kids who seemed unguarded. Um, so yeah, I just chill out in the pool for like a good 30, 40 minutes, get some good laps in, and then I leave. Um, and there were some cute girls around the pool, and I didn't talk to them because they were reading, and I wasn't going to bother them. Uh, <laughs> but let it be known, they were there. <laughs> My throat's getting so tired. Um, and yeah, then I think we ordered burger, or not order, but we go and get Burger King that day or something like that, and we chill out. Uh, I play some Fall Guys. Next day, Thursday, Friday, it's Friday now. Because last time was Thursday, so now it's Friday. I'm very good at calendars. Friday um, is a big one. That's one that I was super hyped for. We go horseback riding. Alluded to earlier in the stream, telling it to you now. We go horseback riding. I've gone horseback riding in the past. I was very young. It was in India. Every year when we went to India, we'd go to this like little carnival. And we'd go horseback riding. Um, pretty sure the carnival was illegal. I, like, because I'm pretty sure they only set up shop for, like, a couple days, and then they left, and they had, like, they had, like, this very small, like, um, Ferris wheel, but it wasn't a Ferris wheel, it was, like, something where they try to spin it as fast as possible, it's not, like, a Ferris wheel, it's, like, very tiny, and you just kind of get t fucking blended, like, that's just the ride, um, and yeah, we had, like, a horse there, we had a horseback riding thing there, um, because I was so young, they didn't even let me horseback ride that much. Like, I'd go up, they'd take me, like, down the lane and back, and that was it. And I think with some other people, they'd take them, like, all the way around. But I was just so young that they didn't let me. And they also had a guy there holding the horse by the reins. Um, I was just kind of sitting on it. This time, though, on the island, I got my own horse. I actually rode it, you know? And, um... We like we all got our own separate horses, and then the rider in front had a horse, and the horseback riding was so freaking cool. Like I cannot tell you how cool it was. Like you should do it for real. I'm not even a horse boy or a horse girl. I'm I just I like horses, man. I think they're cool. I don't I don't vibe with them much. Like I don't go out of my way to ride them all the time. But this one was so cool. So here's how it went. Okay, 
we go to the stables. We hop on a horse, uh, on all of our horses. Before the horse ride, I was telling my sister, like, all right, if this is a white horse, I'm naming it Bolt, as in the Disney dog. And I'm like, he's going to zoom. Bolt's going to zoom. He's going to zoom around. All right? Bolt's going to be my boy. Um, I was scared I'd squish the horse. Wow. When you were six. I was not scared of that. I did get a smaller horse. Like, I did get a pretty small guy, but he was chilling. Um, but yeah, so I did get a white horse, and I was like, I was whispering to my sister, like, ooh, I got Bolt, let's go. Um, and yeah, I, I did I get a white horse? I gotta check this. This is another pic, we took a lot of pictures for once. I actually felt super confident. Uh, I've been working out more, so apparently that gives you confidence, which I didn't know. But yeah, it, uh, here we go. Alright, I can just get my mom out of the shot. I look kind of ugly this day, but there we go, that's my horse. Um, his actual name, I don't know. Man, it is not, it's not focusing. Wait, what if I cover my face? There we go, that's how you do it. Hang on, let's get this. There we go, it's still very blurry and you can still see yourself in the screen. But, uh, you get the, you get the gist of it. So yeah. Um, I, we, okay, yeah, so we started stables. My sister's in front, me, then it's me, my mom, my dad. Um, we take off, we, we're, we're just walking, it's, you know, and we don't have helmets, we could have had helmets if we wanted, but we're just walking, so it was like, there's no point. There were a couple times where I was scared, like, either the horse is gonna run off, or it's gonna trip and fall and on me, or something, you know, because it's a living being, it can fuck up just like the rest of us, and I was terrified. But, after a while, I got used to it, I got used to the reins, um, my dad's horse in the back kept wanting to eat. So it would keep stopping to eat. It was a hungry boy. And my dad kept falling super far behind. It was pretty funny. Um, my sister's horse in the front was called Prince or something, which was like funny because he was in the front. I just thought that was cool. My dad's name's my dad's horse's name was Madonna. Um, I don't remember my mom's or mine. But uh, you know, we're just walking. Then there's one point like my the tour guy takes a ton of pictures of us. He was super chill. You know, there was, like, uh, an ocean, like, oh, we, we went up a mountain, so it was, like, we could overlook the ocean and stuff like that. Um, what's up, Risco? Welcome. And, um, yeah, we, uh, we were walking, then there was this one point where my horse stopped to eat, and my mom's horse apparently was, like, rushing to hurry, like, it was, like, I want to be in front, so, um, it went up in front of me as my horse ate. I have to, like, you have to, like, pull the reins to make them stop eating. Because if they get a, a habit of eating, it's just bad for the horses. Like, then you'd be trained not to do that. So, um, I was sad to make it stop eating, but I got really good control of my horse. Like, I learned to, like, control him and kind of chill with him, and then he would chill with me. Um, there was a lot of horse piss and a lot of horse shit on that ride. That's, that's one thing I remember. I remember seeing horses just shit in the middle of the ride, and I was like, Stop, please. But it's like, what else are they gonna do? Like, they're they're horses. That's just how it is. Horses are fucking amazing, uh, and also dumb as fuck. <laughs> I like, I was gonna insult them, and I was like, I haven't really said anything nice about them, so maybe. Um, why were you looking? What do you mean? It was right in front of me. <laughs> what do you expect me to do? But yeah, uh, and and also you can smell it. So, um, but yeah, it was great. Like we, fucking like. Okay. I don't even know how to preface this story because it was so funny. Um, so yeah, we okay. Before I get to that story, we're walking up. We we walk up. Uh, we walk up a couple hills, and they make you feel like an actual horse rider when you do that because you really like go with the horse. You know when when he's like because he has to use strength to go up some of these like kind of s steeper inclines. So you feel like a real horse rider when you're like bobbing and weaving with the horse. Um, then, you know, we, we walk around for a bit. We're getting near the end. We get to this very narrow path, right? Now my mom's horse is in front of me, and my sister's still in the front, and it's me and my dad in the back. The horse rider goes around a corner, like the, the guide goes around a corner. By the way, the guide's name was Danny. Shout out to Danny. Um, he goes around a corner, and my sister's following him. And then my horse is kind of looking back, looking back again. I'm like, is he pissed at me? 
or something about to happen. And then I see him start to like go and I just pull back. Don't pull back enough though. And he snaps at my dad's horse. Uh, and he like just attacks my dad's horse. And that's when I felt like a real horse rider. Cause I just, I pulled my horse back and I was like, nope, get back in line. This is not happening. You're not about to fight this horse. And it wasn't, it didn't seem like a fight. It was, it seemed like a kind of thing of being like, Hey, stop that. Like, you know, just snapping at him. Like, fuck off, get off me. But it was so funny. Like it was, it was, what was even funnier is horses are so fucking dumb. Cause my Madonna, my dad's dad, my dad's dad, my dad's horse gets attacked. And because it looks to the right, you know, it, it cause it's, we're all looking straight ahead. My horse attacks from the right. So it, Madonna kind of looks to the right. It's such a narrow path. There's leaves right there. It just starts eating. Literally, the it, like the split second after it gets attacked, it is just eating the leaves on the side. I was like, "Are you serious right now? Like, are you for real? For real? Like, that was so funny. That was amazing. It was like fucking the comedic timing of Madonna. <laughs> it was like amazing. Um, but yeah, the horse chills out. The horses chill out. We go down back around to the stables, but we don't go in the stables just yet because. There's one last part to this tour. He takes off all our shoes, the horse rider, and then we go in the water. The horses go like, I guess you would, it would be about knee deep for us. So the horse's heads are above the water, just about. Um, and yeah, the water was so warm. I, it made me want to go back to Maho Beach. I was like, this was amazing. Um, and we got some pictures of that too. I can uh, show you guys some of that as well. Um, if I can find them. Let me find one where I'm more alone. Yeah, but my horse did not like the water. Like, it was pretty clear. Uh, and I felt really bad for him. But, uh, there you go. That's a very zoomed in picture, so it's going to look very bad. But, um, horses in the water. Uh, it was great. I loved it. I had a lot of fun. Horses are awesome. They're stupid as shit, but they're really awesome. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure, like, in IQ wise, like compared to uh, dogs and cats, they're incredibly dumb. But uh, ooh, my mom ordered pizza for dinner. Let's go. <laughs> I'm I'm hyped. That's awesome. Um. So yeah, horse riding done. Uh, we go back to the hotel room. I play Fall Guys. That's just how this vacation is. Is I play Fall Guys a bunch. But um, yeah, horse riding's done. We make it home uh and we're all very tired and drained i think my parents probably go somewhere they like going out during nights um because it, it is like a city you know it is an island but there's like a city area so um we we're, my you know my sister and i chill out um we talk we we, we don't talk much because we're always busy but we have a nice chat we chill and then uh then it's friday Right? No. Then it's Saturday. I keep I keep staying a, a day behind because I keep thinking we left Saturday. So I'm like, okay, so it's Friday now. No, we're on to Saturday, second to last day of the trip. I'm basically the last day because Sunday we're just leaving, going to the airport, and coming home. So Saturday we go speed boating. First of all, the walk, dude. I walked ten thousand steps that day. Like I have a watch that tracks the steps every day of the vacation i reached my step goal because we were just walking so much it was great but saturday was so tiring because we walked like literally ten thousand steps because we lost the car on saturday we we rented a car for the trip but it's expensive to keep renting it they keep like keep going so saturday we were just like all right we'll walk places we'll get rid of the car um we'll give it back to them so we uh you know we um fucking walk from the resort to the place in the in the heat um nothing crazy happens there we just chill i'm feeling good i'm feeling ready to ready to walk ready to go we make it to the speed boating place and i find out i could drive i'm allowed to drive the speed boat now i don't i don't sadly but i could because if you're either 18 or you have a valid driver's license which i do you're allowed to drive the speedboat. And it looked easy. Like, I saw my sister doing it. There's a throttle to shift gears. And there's a steering wheel. That's literally it. The hard part now is making sure that you are careful with the waves. 
which my sister was not because I nearly fell out of the boat four times. <laughs> like, spoiler alert, I nearly died. <laughs> it was crazy. But, um, yeah. We had a nice, uh, nice guy, uh, driving, uh, guiding with us. We went in twos and then the other guys. So it was like, we had the tour guide in the front. We had my mom and dad's, uh, boat. Uh, and then we had my sister and I in a boat. My mom and dad had a single boat, so they were lined up, you know? Like, th it was like my dad, my mom, be like, hanging on to him, and that was it. With my sister and I, we were not going to do that. So she was in the wheel on the back right, and I was in the f t front left, and I was just sitting there. And uh, I'm actually going to text her, because we, we have to get some pictures from them. Did you get the speedboat pictures? Because we, we bought pictures from them, because there was they took... Like, basically, when you started, while the guide was getting his boat ready, you and you, your boats could go, like, you would basically do circles around the buoys that were there, and uh, there was this photographer that was taking awesome pictures. So we got, like, pictures of us, like, going like this, like, you know, and, like, we would do a, a lot of poses quickly, because um, it's a professional photographer, and, um, yeah, basically, like, we just had a lot of fun, like, we just, I felt like it was real paparazzi. I, I preparing myself for when I get famous, y'all. You know how it is. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was, it was awesome. We, um, and also, yeah, no, she probably did it on purpose, Rook. Like a hundred percent that she's crazy. Uh, and, <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. My sister's going to get those pictures soon. Maybe I'll put some up if there's some good ones, but, uh, yeah. So then we take off. The tour guide gets his boat. He goes in front. We take off. So um, the layout of this is we go through the middle of the island where there's like a big lake or whatever. Then we go under a bridge, which takes us out into open water. And then we can go, we kind of go around. We do a couple of fun, like, you know, swerves and stuff. There's this nice canal, like by the bridge, there's like this canal where like there's houses on either side. So we waved at everyone. We we're like, hi. It's illegal to make waves there, apparently. Which makes sense, because there's probably people swimming there and stuff. So we we just chill. And we uh, we go through that canal, and we then we go out into the open water. And everyone just takes off, you know. Our guide is like, alright. He, he does a sign like this, which is uh, speed up, because we can't hear each other. Uh, and we all speed up. We take off. We go into the open water. Uh, and there, it's fine. My sister's not trying to kill me there. You know, we're, we're chilling. We do have a couple of really bumpy parts, but, uh, like there's this one really funny moment where we bounce, my sister and I scream, we bounce again, we scream, we bounce again, we scream. And then we both just start crack up laughing because we're like, that was insane. We both just screamed and like jumped in perfect comedic timing. It was awesome. We were having a lot of fun together, just chilling, you know, on a boat, no parents, you know, if I could go there with my friends, I totally would, because that sounds like a lot of fun. But uh, it was just my sister, sadly. But, you know, it's still fun, I guess. Um, and yeah, we stopped to snorkel for a bit. Um, I don't really like snorkeling. I have glasses. The goggles don't work, whatever. Um, so my sister and I just kind of drift in the water. My mom sits in the boat. My dad goes, goes snorkeling, gets some videos. They weren't great. It was, there wasn't like a coral reef there. There was just some fish vibing. Um, I will come with you, bro. You are not, if you ever came with me anywhere, you would never drive anywhere. I don't even like driving in, but I would never let you drive. That's insane. Um, but yeah, so, you know, we do that. Then we go to this beach, Grand Casa Beach, I think it was called. Um, we chill there for a bit. The water's so salty. Like it's so salty. It was insane. But, um, you know, we want to leave. We don't really want to stay there for 45 minutes, which was the original plan. So our tour guide's like, okay, we're leaving, you know. And since you guys aren't using your 45 minutes here, we're going to leave. We're going to go back under the bridge. And then we're going to do some just joyriding, you know. Or, like, we're going to go out in the open ocean. We're going to do some joyriding. Then when we go under the bridge, you have to slow down. Then we, when we get back to the main, like, lake or lagoon or whatever it's called, we can do some more joyriding. So that's what we do, right? And that's when I nearly die. <laughs> so we go, and he's like, if you guys want to race each other, whatever you can, we can have fun with it, which was very nice of him. Um, I assume because we had all practiced on the way there, you know, he was fine with us joyriding on the way back. 
So we take off. We're on our way back. We, my sister and I have the faster boat. So we zoom ahead of my parents. Then we zoom ahead of the guide. And we're like, okay, we got to slow down. We just wave hi to him. So I think she slows down, but he also speeds up. So he just zooms past us again. And we're like, oh, that's how it is. So it's a lot of fun. We're just kind of zooming past each other. The problem is when you zoom past people, you make waves. So my sister kept going right behind our guide. So we were hitting every wave he made, which meant that every time we had a big wave, and since I was in the front left, I would basically tilt to the left. And the boat, I, I constantly, I thought like four times that the boat was just going to tip, tip over to the left fully. And we would just, we would just go down there. Um, oh, forgot to mention, on the way to the snorkeling, my dad lost his hat. It was great. It just went flying out. Then the guide loses his hat, and he just turns around and gets it. And when we're waiting on the beach, he just goes, yeah, if you wanted your hat, you could have gone back and gotten it. And my dad was like, oh, well, I didn't, so it's gone now. It's just, it's, if you ever find, like, some American tourist hat in the middle of the ocean near the St. Martin's Caribbean Island to contact me I, I don't i don't want it contact my dad figure out who he is and contact him <laughs> but um yeah we joyride back um we go through the canal and our tour guide like tosses uh water bottles to the people who live there which was super cool like there was a bunch of kids who i guess this was like a routine for them they all gathered there and they were like fighting for the bottles they were kind of having fun uh and it was a really nice vibe and the tour guide was like, you know, he, he kept telling them, like, stay back, you know, because this is a electric boat. But uh, and he would just throw them out there like, you know, water's yours. Um, so that was really cool. Uh, and then we did a, a lot of like joyriding through the lagoon or whatever. I, he called it a lagoon, but I think, you know, whatever, lake, whatever. Um, and there was a lot of shipwrecks. Uh, you could see out and you could see kind of the history of what happened during the hurricane. A lot of shipwrecks and stuff. But, um, you know, I think they kept them there for the history because, like, I think they could have fished them out. Uh, he also pointed out a lot of really cool yachts and stuff. Like, dude, I want to go on a yacht and just party. For real. That seems like a lot of fun. Um, I don't know how you do that. I don't know how you get rich enough to do that. Or, like, if you got to find a rich friend somewhere. Or maybe just sneak your way onto a boat, you know, just go on, go to a beach somewhere and be like, yeah, I'm with these guys. Yeah, yeah, I'm going with them. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it was great. Uh, and we eventually make our way back. They give us some physical photos of like our, like each of our best looking pictures. And then they're like, you know, if you buy the $15 physical pictures, you can email them for the digital ones, which we haven't done yet. But that's what I texted my sister, which she's going to do soon. Um, so hopefully I'll have a bunch of those soon. Hundred thousand dollars, most likely. Maybe, I don't know. I haven't done yacht research. Uh, I really want to go on a yacht one day. My friend went on a yacht a couple of weeks ago. She was telling me all about it. She she kept telling us like, yeah, I want I want to shake my ass on a yacht, and I was like, I I mean, do what you gotta do. But then after seeing a yacht in real life, I was like, yep, no, I want to do the same. I want to do the same. I agree. Hard agree. But, um, yeah, I mean, that was awesome. Uh, what was next? We walk back. And guess what? While we're walking back, a fucking bird shits on my arm. I was so angry. A bird shit on my arm, dude. That's a... Uh, I was like, this is never... Literally on the walk there, I was like, I, I was like, dude, what if we get a bird shit on us? Like, you know, that's never happened to us before. Um, but yeah. Happened to me. My sister said it was lucky. She said, oh, that's good luck. And I was like, is it? Because I don't feel very lucky right now. So the luck better come soon. Because I'm not feeling lucky. So uh, unless I get like... <laughs> unless I get 50 gifted subs right now, not very lucky. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I got lucky for something. Maybe maybe I was supposed to die at some point on that vacation. I just didn't because of the bird poop. Who knows? You know? I don't know what it was, but regardless, I got bird shit on me. We wiped it off with a towel. I tried, or with like a paper napkin. I tried to forget about it. We uh, got home. I took a nice shower because I needed that. Um, 
surprisingly our bags didn't get too wet even though we nearly drowned in the water like uh, my sister nearly threw me off the boat but somehow the bags didn't go flying and they were just fine in the boat so nothing was too wet somehow my parents boat was incredibly wet and their bag just came out like soaking don't know how they managed that but our boat was fine and uh yeah we're back we chill we order some dominoes dude the dominoes there amazing we had um we got a, pa a pa I got a pasta for me my sister got pizza which she which she shared with me and we got some cheesy bread and I loved that dinner like it was so nice I think my, my parents went out to this um Chinese restaurant which I love Chinese food but I was so tired I didn't want to go out uh and it's it was called Avantika and it was uh they brought back some fried rice for me which I ate the next day and it was so good like for real for real for real very good food all the food there was amazing, man. They like, they, oh, I loved it there. And then, uh, that's our final day. I don't think I played Fall Guys that day. That day I kind of chilled. I didn't even turn on my laptop. I was too tired. Um, I lost my Microsoft rewards streak. <laughs> but, uh, mm, fried rice. Yeah, I know. Very good. And then, uh, yeah, next day we, uh, we, f we, we fly home. So we wake up at like 10. We go um, get checked out. We have to wait in the lobby for like 45 minutes for our shuttle to show up. Uh, hop in the shuttle, go there. Nice air conditioning in the shuttle. Um, and our and you know what's great? On the way to vacation, the there was like no line. Like TSA, my dad and I got TSA pre-check, which we always do. So we got, um, we went, you know, through security super fast. But, and like, that's how TSA PreCheck works. You just go through security super fast. But security was so light that my sister and mom made it to the gate before we did, which never happens because they don't get TSA PreCheck for some reason. So we made it like through the gate or through security after they did. And they didn't even have the special thing that makes security fast. So it was a very quick um, airport just occurrence on the way there and then on the way back we knew that planes didn't come often uh in the morning because at maho beach we saw the planes coming in and leaving so they leave a lot during like 4 or 5 p.m but in the morning at like 10 11 a.m they're chilling you know our flight was for 1 p.m when we got to the front desk at the airport they were like yeah your plane's like early like it's early right now we go to the um we get through security insanely fast again. Like there's like five people in security when we go there. We do all that stuff. We're at the gate. We're just waiting. You know, I grab some drinks. Like uh, I get a, a, a water for myself, Sprite for my sister. We finish up the cheesy bread and stuff because we didn't finish the Domino's earlier. Uh, we just brought it with us and had it cold. Still good. Still good somehow. Uh, like it still tasted really good. We hop in the plane. Um, and I mean... That was it. It was a very quick, like, flight. It was a very quick uh, journey. You know, like, I'm used to airplanes t or airports taking a long time. It was super fast. So we hop in the plane. Um, we um, fucking take off. Is there anything else I'm forgetting? We take off super quickly. Uh, I, I think on the way to vacation, I watched Has Been Hotel. I had downloaded on the way back. I didn't have anything downloaded. I think I listened to music for a bit. Um, I did a lot of reading for this book that I have to read. The Handmaid's Tale. Sorry. Uh, just dropped stuff on my floor. Um, oh, it's over. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, it's over here. Um, I got to read this book for some reading. The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Don't read it if you're young. It's a, it's a very um, sexual story, but not in a good way. Um... It's like a dystopian future. I'm not going to... I don't even know if I can talk about it on Twitch because it's very fucked up. So, um... Yeah. Anyway. Um, I, I just read that on the flight. I got a ton of reading done. Slept for like an hour. And before I even knew it, we were landing. And I was like, are you serious? We're landing already? Um, and then we get off the plane super quick. Um, and there's this very cute girl at the air... Okay. How do I? Okay. So, you know, we get off in New York, New York airport, whatever. Um, 
and there's this cute girl that I see, right? And uh, I'm feeling confident. I wear nice clothes on uh, airplanes, as I said before. Uh, I, I'm i tan, which makes me feel even better about myself because I like my tan. Uh, I'm an Indian boy. I got to look brown. Um, <laughs> and, you know, I give her a look. I give her a smile, which is hard to see under the mask. But I'm just like, hi, you know, we're the same age. You look cute. <laughs> Without saying that, I'm because we're with our families. I, I'm just like, you know, give that look of like, so when we get home, I realize my eye was swollen. <laughs> my eye was half swollen. It was like, it was like, wait, well, it was, it was this eye, but because of mirroring, it was like this. Like I, I would just look at people like that without realizing it. And I was like, I was like, are you serious? Like, I'm so sorry to whoever that person is. She probably thought I was crazy. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Like, whoops, oops, my bad. And we were also next to each other when we were grabbing our um, our luggage at the circle thingy. So I was like, you know, still like, you know, what's up? Because I hadn't noticed yet. And then I get home and I'm like, I went through the entire day with like a sty in my eye. It was like a sty or a bug bite or something. But it's like, because styes apparently appear if you're stressed or don't get a lot of sleep. And also the water was extra salty on that beach the day before. So I any of those things could make it, you know, like that. Or it was a bug bite because bug bites hit my entire body. But man, I was just like, so sad. I can't believe I've done this. <laughs> um, but, you know, that's just how it goes. But anyway, uh, we get home. Uh, the, the Uber driver home was so nice. She was, like, talking to us, talking to our family. She was, like, just, like, talking about, like, oh, you know, I work for Uber. Um, you know, people pay, like, 50, 40, 50 dollars, and I get about nine of those dollars or something. And I, and everyone was, like, dude, that's such a ripoff. Like, you are literally being, like, that that's fucked up, you know? Uber's taking so much. Um, so that was a fun conversation to have with her. Uh, but she was very nice. She took us home. Uh... I was the only one with the house key for some reason. Very, very irresponsible. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure we agreed that I would just take the house key because I had one. But uh, yeah, we get in. I get to my mirror. To my, I have a mirror that's a closet. I have a closet door that's a mirror. That's what I should be saying. And that's when I see the sty in my eye. And I'm like, holy shit. Can't believe I've been going through this entire day like this. Um, and that's the end of my trip. Uh, it was amazing. It was... It was fucking fantastic. Uh, it was very stressful at certain points. Uh, certain points that I didn't mention because they're more personal and stuff. But very stressful, but very chill uh, a lot of the time. And also, there were these biscuits that we got on the plane called Biscoff Cookies. And I searched it up after, and we ordered some, and they came in today. And I just had some before stream, and they're so good. I have, like, a whole stack of Biscoff Cookies, and I'm so happy. They're like literally just, they're amazing. They're so sweet. Sorry, I'm getting hiccups because I've been talking so much. Let me get some water. Oh my God. Anyway, that was awesome. I was, I was chilling. I was happy. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to just post that clip on Twitter of me talking about that cute girl. Uh, and if anybody was at the airport on Sunday uh, afternoon and saw me there, I'm sorry and give me your number. <laughs> Can I have your number? <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, it was awesome. Uh, we then then what happened? We um, I mean, yeah, I mean, after that, it was, uh, you know, I got back on Sunday. So Monday morning, I wake up, forget to work out chill out watch tv watch youtube oh at the hotel room i watch so much disney like I, I haven't watched disney in years and i go back and i'm like first of all some of these shows are so trash like they're just rip off of old shows or other content but also i was just having so much fun just watching tv again so that was nice because i watch so much youtube i don't watch tv um but yeah we you know i watched some I watched some nice tv then we went and uh i i think I did some reading, and that was basically all of my uh, Monday. Tuesday, I did some workouts, 
And today I did some workouts, did some more reading, did some more YouTube. Tomorrow I've got a hectic day. Um, but other than that, that's kind of my trip. That's That's been my past few weeks. I mean, I just want to talk to you guys about my trip. I have a nice little day back. And now I can talk to you about what I plan to do for stream. Because, you know, I haven't been streaming too much. I've been a little busy. But first of all, I'm probably going to start a Kingdom Hearts playthrough. Kingdom Hearts 3 I have on Game Pass. And um, I feel like it's kind of an iconic game. Like, I feel like I hear people talk about it so much. But I never see people play it. I don't know what it's about. I don't know much about it. I just know that, like, Mickey Mouse and stuff are in it. And Elsa and stuff. So we're going to play through that. Um, because of course we are. Then I have a Minecraft series coming up with my boy Ellie Beatmaker, which you guys might have seen about if you follow either of us on Twitter. Uh, he tweeted about it. I've retweeted him, so you probably heard of it. But if you haven't, we have a series coming up, just one on one, one on one on one, just the two of us. Kingdom Hearts three. I love the game series. Well, you'll love my streams hopefully, because they're gonna be. I'm gonna have fun. I'm gonna play it soon. Um, but yeah, that's the plan for stream now. Those are the two things we. Ellie and I want to play Operation Tango at some point, but um, we've both been busy, and he hasn't felt like streaming recently, uh, other than Minecraft. So to slowly get him back into streaming, we're going to play some Minecraft. Hopefully that'll get him excited for Operation Tango. If not, oh well. It happens. You know, not every stream idea comes through. But uh, regardless, I'm excited for the Minecraft thing. Hopefully we're going to start soon. I'm trying to get it out next Wednesday. That's the plan. So as long as we finish everything up soon, next Wednesday. Don't take my word for it until you see the promo on Twitter, because we'll definitely do promo. But um, yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, dude, I'm so much more confident. I just want to talk about, like, I've been working out more. You can't notice it too much because I'm a skinny person, but I'm so excited to work out. Like, I hate it. It's so, I get so sore and tired. But like, when I see myself, when, because after a workout, you get like a little bulge and you can kind of notice it because your muscles are used to working out for those 30 minutes or so. So like, I love looking in the mirror and being like, yes, I have something going. Like I'm, I'm getting ready for school gym. I'm getting ready to, you know, go out and see people getting ready to swim and stuff like shirtless, go to a beach or whatever, and be able to like, not feel self-conscious. It feels nice. It's a nice feeling. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I don't think there's much else to talk about unless you guys want to talk about something. Otherwise, you know, I can send you on your way. I didn't plan on doing a super long stream today. One and a half hours is a pretty good length for me. But yeah, I mean, I had like I I had fun with this stream. I had fun talking to you guys, and I definitely had fun talking about my vacation. There's so much to talk about. Let me see if there's any good pictures I can show you guys, because there's a lot of uh, a lot happened, and I might have missed a couple. Was nice here about everything, yeah. Oh yeah, here's a picture. I was shirtless and I was confident enough to show it on my private Instagram, my school Instagram. Speaking of the devil, Ellie's gone live. Has he really? Uh, remix my remix reviews. Oh, okay. He's reviewing stuff. That makes sense. Understandable. But yeah, I dude, I had a lot of fun. Um, and now Marvel What If is out. So when my mom and sister come back with pizza... Uh, I'm definitely watching that. Um, my dad is currently doing some work stuff in North Carolina or something, so he's like not here. Um, but yeah, good. Re just gonna remind you guys for a third time, real quick. If you want to go on vacation stuff, that's cool. You know, we've been opening back up and stuff for a reason. Uh, hopefully, it's getting a little safer. But do what we did. You know, get be vaccinated. Vaccine. You know, don't even come here arguing with me about vaccines. Um. Keep masks on, indoors, in crowds, all that good stuff, around people. Especially if that, especially if the other people have masks on. That means they want you to wear your masks, seriously. Um, and get tested. You know, we got tested before we went, uh, and then we had to get tested there to come back. Oh yeah, when we got tested, it was so hot, and we had to wait outside. And this poor kid just passed out in the middle of the heat. Um, and they, like, someone carried him to shade, he woke up, they got him a nice cold drink, but, man, I felt so bad for him. I felt like I was gonna pass out, too, it was so hot. Um, and that, dude, that COVID test was not that bad. Like, it was, if it was this tiny little thing, just went up, went down, done. It was the easiest out of the three tests that I've done for this trip. It was great. 
not great. I mean, I'm I'm not gonna go out seeking that test, but if I have to take a test, that one was pretty good. I like that one. Um, yeah, that was one story I forgot to tell. I'm sure I'm forgetting some stuff. A lot of stuff happened. Um, what did, what else could I have forgotten? Oh, there was a cute girl at the big zip line too. Yeah, dude, I'm literally such a fucking little teenage guy you know it's so clear i'm a teen oh i totally forgot there was this amazing moment okay so at the big zip line we're waiting there for a long time right so i kind of go off on my own try to watch the view sit on my own i hear this group of people next to me like on the stairs so i think it's a group of two guys and two girls so the girls are like we don't want to go on the zip line we don't we don't want to do it and the guys are like all right that's fine you guys can go down the chairlift we're gonna go on the zip line And they're like, okay, cool, we can split. So before leaving, the guy's like, hey, you, one of the girls, uh, like guy one to girl one is like, hey, can you just like take care of my wife if I die? Just jokingly. Or he was like, take care of my kids if I die. And the girl one is like, yeah, no, but I'll take care of your wife especially. You know, I'll marry her. We'll be good. We'll be set. And I was like, I love you. That was amazing. It was so funny. And also it was like uh, a group of Indian people. And like, I, I go to India a lot. I know a lot of Indian families. I know how, I know, I know how it can be sometimes. So seeing like progressive people from my community basically was awesome and very funny. And shout out to that girl if she's watching. (laughs) I just assume anyone could be watching at any time. If you were in St. Martin's and you decide not to go on that zip line like a week ago and uh, you joked about uh, marrying your friend's wife, proud of you. What's up, Rajguria Aditya? Rajaria? I sorry. I, is Raj okay? Thank you for the follow. Sorry, I'm very bad at reading usernames. I can never tell how they're supposed to be pronounced. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. All right. Well, welcome to the stream. I uh, you came at a kind of a bad time because I just finished the story of my vacation. No worries. The first attempt was correct. Oh, okay. Sick. Well, welcome, Raj. Um, yeah, but that was kind of, that was the trip of my vacation. Um, I had a lot of fun. Um, you know, stay safe, keep your masks on, be careful out there. Um, I came at the bookend, yeah. Um, but you could always rewatch the VOD. There's a lot of interesting stories there. It was a week worth of crazy stuff. Uh, you can refer to me as Adi. Adi, all right. I have a cousin named Adi. He has two A's, but same thing. Um, but yeah, anyway, that was, that was my story. Uh, St. Martin's is a very nice place. I also found out, okay, there's this podcast I listen to called, uh, it's called Fuckface, but like, there's two asterisks in there, so it's technically called Beepface. That's, there's a whole joke with it. If you want to go watch it, you can. But one of the hosts, Jeff Ramsey, I'm a huge fan of him and of everyone there and of everyone who works for that company as well. He... Talked on today's episode. It comes out on Wednesday. So I listened to the episode this morning. And he talked about how he just went on a trip to an island that I heard on St. Martin's. Which means that the island was one of the adjacent ones to St. Martin's. So I was on an island adjacent to his. Didn't even know it. Which is so cool. Um, I mean, cool to me. I'm sure most people would be like, dude, you didn't even meet him. What's crazy? Well, like... It doesn't matter, but I thought it was very cool. I thought it was crazy, um, and I was very happy. I was very happy that I heard that because I was like, "Yes, we 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 chilled. We got to we 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 were friends in a in like a not friend way. You know what I mean? Like we. Oh, sorry, my I my my webcam's lagging, but you know we're we were friends, but like he doesn't know it. So that's how that worked. <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, I should mention, um, I haven't talked about this publicly yet. Rooster Teeth is this, uh, group that I watch and their community did this, is doing this discord game called Coalition and it's like Survivor if you've seen the reality show. Survivor is a game where there's like two tribes or three tribes. You have to win challenges. If you don't win, you have to vote someone out and you want to get to the very end. And at some point there's a merge and then you just have to win individual challenges to get immunity if you don't get immunity you might get voted out basically 
So we're doing that on Discord, uh, and it's called Coalition. And I can throw uh, the Discord in to chat if you guys want to watch. Please do not talk to me about it. You are not allowed to talk to me about what happens on it. Because you guys are viewers, you can see everything. I'm a player, I can't see everything. So please don't talk to me about it. Don't tell me anything about it. If you want to, like, don't say anything, basically. But if you, if you join that Discord, you'll be able to watch the whole game uh, unfold. It's been going for a bit. Um, we just, my tribe just won a game. So the other tribe's probably voting someone out tonight. We won yesterday, a game of Battleship. So, um, yeah. I thought that was cool. Uh, the, we're all representing people from Rooster Teeth. And I'm representing Andrew Panton, who is one of the hosts of Fuckface. And he joined the server. He's in the Discord server, which is so cool. He hasn't talked to me or reached out or anything, uh, and I haven't bothered reaching out to him because uh, I don't want to bother him. But uh, he joined the server, so he might be watching the game. So I got a win for him. So uh, you know, hype me up in your in your in your minds in your prayers. You know, give me some good luck. <laughs> but other than that, let's find someone to raid. Um, let's see. I'm gonna reload Twitch real quick. But yeah, I mean, the game's super cool. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, let's raid Ellie. You know, he's, uh, he's, he's finally, he's, he's not been streaming too much. Um, and I want him to get inspired. So let's send him a good couple of viewers his way. Let's give him some love, my boy. Um, yeah. We have, we have a couple of cool things coming up. I'm gonna play Kingdom Hearts as soon as possible. Obviously tomorrow I'm so busy, that's not happening tomorrow, but very soon, Kingdom Hearts. Then um, Ellie and I are gonna start our series, hopefully, and you guys will see what it is, what it's about, everything. And other than that, man, I'm I'm hyped, you know? I'm. Thank you everyone for watching, thank you for being here. Uh, we're gonna go to the screen, the ending screen. And uh, yeah, I appreciate like everyone being here today uh you know my first day back after a while after a big break so it's definitely much appreciated and uh yeah that's about it hopefully i'll make some youtube videos soon so you guys have more content to watch i swear i'm at least gonna post some shorts so yeah